This is chapter one, programming exercise 11, popu population project. All right, so let's see. It says that the US Census Bureau projects population based on the following assumptions. There's one birth every seven seconds, one death every 13 seconds, and one new immigrant every 45 seconds. So in this exercise, they want us to write a program to display the population for each of the next five years. Assume that the current population is 312,032,486 and one year has 365 days. And then there's a hint. In Java, if two integers perform the division, the result is an integer. The fractional part is truncated. For example, 5 divided by 4 is 1, not 1.25. In another example, 10 divided by 4 is 2, not 2.5. So we want to get a more accurate result with the fractional part. One of the values involved in the division must be a decimal, must be a number with a decimal point. So for example, we did 5.0 instead of 5 divided by 4, we did 5.0 divided by 4. Then we will get 1.25. Or if we flip it around, we say 10 divided by 4.0, then we'll get 2.5. All right, so we're going to keep that in the back of our mind when we're writing our uh, exercise. All right, so how do we solve this? All right, since we got to solve the population over the next five years, we have to solve for it one year at a time. We know that the current population, year zero, is 312,032,486. We'll be ignoring leap years, so we don't, we'll assume that there's only 30, 365 years every single year. And with that information, we'll just have to solve by adding the number of births in a year in a population, subtract it with the number of deaths each year, and then add that number of new immigrants to the current population. So new births, deaths, and immigrants will always be constant and unaffected by anything else. So we just have to follow that one route. All right, so the first thing we gotta do is calculate birth rates. We know that the rule, one birth every seven seconds. Now to calculate the number of birth per second in every seven seconds in an entire year, we'll have to break down an entire year to figure out how many seconds there are in a year. So to, that, to do that, we know that there's 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour, and 24 hours in a day, and 365 days in a year, ignoring leap years, of course. So using that information, we could calculate number of birth in a year, if there's one birth every seven seconds, we'll calculate for the entire year by 60 times 60 times 24 times 365 to get the total amount of seconds in an entire year, divided by 7.0 seconds to get the amount of births in an entire year at, uh, if one, there's one birth every seven seconds. So to calculate death rate, same, uh, same reasoning we will calculate the number of seconds in a year, and then we'll divide it by 13 to get the amount of death in a year. And then lastly, for immigration, we'll calculate the number of immigrants in a year. If there's one new immigrant every 45 seconds, calculate the total year seconds, and we will divide it by 45. All right, lastly, we're going to display this as year zero to five. Year zero is the current year, with a total population of 312,000, uh, 312,032,486. And then to calculate the population for year one, we'll grab the population for year zero, add the birth rate, subtract the death rate, and, incre and, in uh, and include the new uh, immigrants to it. And that will allow us to calculate for year one's population. So to calculate for year two population, we'll first have to figure out year one population. Same goes with year three, four, and five. All right, so let's tackle that in our exercise. Now let's see. So in the exercise in here, the first thing I want to do is to calculate the number of um, birth in a year. So to do that, We'll calculate the total amount of seconds in a year. All right, number 
seconds in a year. That's 60 seconds times 60 minutes times 24 hours times 365 days. So that will give us the total no number of seconds in a year. And total number of seconds in a year is uh, 31 million. We'll grab that and we'll calculate number, number of birth per year. Numbers. So we'll grab that and we'll divide that by 7.0 to get a uh, decimal value of that. Run that. And we'll see that there is um, 40, oh, let's see, that's four and a half million births per year. We'll do that with death rate. Numbers, number, oh, it's actually numbers of birth, numbers of death, um, actually, number of death, which is one death every 13 seconds. And lastly, we'll calculate for number of immigrants per year. That's one immigrant every 45 seconds. So this is the numbers number that we have. Now let's now next let's display the um, the years. All right. So let's see. We'll have uh, we'll start with year zero. And we'll do the population right after that. All right. All right, zero. And then the population, current population for year zero is this. And let's take a look. Let's see how that looks like before we continue. Needs another tab here. All right. There we go. Now, next one we're going to do, we're going to, let's see, uh, figure out year one. So, to do that, let's type in year one. One, two, three, four. And instead of writing it right here, we're gonna calculate for it. And we're gonna calculate using uh, this right here. So I'm actually gonna move this because uh, we need that. Put this in here. And we're gonna add the Number of birth per year. We are at that. Uh, we're going to actually and then subtract that with number of deaths per year. And lastly, we're going to add that with the number of immigrants per year. Right? Run that, and we get something like this: three point one four. So it's a lot. And the decimal place: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Decimal will be right here because of the E to the A, I believe it'll be right here, right? So that's an increase of about three point, was it 3.1? Um, 14, no, 2, 2 million? That's about 2 million, right? If my, uh, if that is correct. So this, yep, so that's about 2 million increase. Um, all right, so we could keep doing that for the rest of them. So we'll grab. We will do this plus sign right here. Two, three, four, and five. The only thing you have to edit is two, three, four, five. So grab that, right? And we'll paste that in here. Let me see if it could take the E8. 
run that and no <laughs> let's see ah this way here okay there we go all right so it grabs this value and then it updated but then i'm not done yet i have to edit this first so in order to calculate for three i have to solve for two now that i solve for two i could calculate for year three and then once i calculate for year three i could calculate for year four and then lastly, I could calculate for year five. And here we go. So this is the final result. All right. So that's about, so we go back eight decimal place, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Decimal will be right here. So let's see, that is one. So after five years following this formula with the original with the original year zero, which is 312 million, the after five years the population is 325 million. That's an increase of 13 million people over the course of five years, following this formula, of course. Alright. So here we go. So this is what we got here. Alright we are able to calculate for number of seconds in a year and to and with that number with that seconds we are able to calculate the number of birth per year which is one birth every 7 seconds number of death per year which is one death every 13 seconds and the number of immigrants per year which is one immigrant every 45 seconds with that we add the number of birth to the current population subtracted by the number of deaths and then increase that by the number of immigrants we got our current population and we added to year one population and we repeated that uh, with year one population added with uh, number of birth death and immigrants to the next year so on and so forth until we got all five years all right so that will be it for this programming exercise.